special people that I owe this to, but I want to start first. And Arnold walked off. I had a little story for him. So it was July 3rd, 1991, and Terminator 2 launched in the movie theater. And I had been picking up bodybuilding books and, you know, as you know, a teenager and looking at the physiques in there and, and like, wow, how do these guys get like that? And of course, I had known Arnold from uh, the Conan days and, you know, when Terminator 2 launched out and the original Terminator, you know, I'd watched that. You know, I saw that physique on there and I'll tell you, I left that theater. And one month later, August 3rd, 1991, I joined the gym my 18th birthday. And that was when I actually made the commitment I want to fulfill a journey, okay, where I, I've mentioned this before. Many kids want to be lawyers, doctors, professional athletes. I wanted to be a bodybuilder. So he was a major inspiration and a stepping point of that. Of course, I looked at Sylvester Stallone, John claude Van Damme. You know, I grew up, like I, they mentioned, Sterling, Massachusetts, youngest of seven kids. No one in my family lift weights. My sister's here to witness this tonight who basically raised me alongside of my parents. So, Kelly, thank you for being here. She likes to brag that she changed my diapers. And we had a family business doing concrete, okay? My three brothers worked extremely hard. My dad, when he retired, worked in that business. And they taught me the commitment, the hard work. There was after school, school vacations, weekends. There was no clock. I had to work and I had to, uh, to earn everything that I did. And as a family business, that was what was ne necessary, right? So when I started attending college in the fall of 1991, I chased a degree in criminal justice. And of course, uh, I wanted to be a police officer and uh, get to California. That was actually my dream. My dream was to ride a motorcycle in California as a police officer. Can you believe that? I watched too many chip shows. <laughs> so when I joined the gym, that Gold's Gym in Worcester, Massachusetts, there were a lot of people that, you know, just looked at me as a teenager. Within six months, I was one of the biggest kids in the gym. And sooner or later, I met someone who played an important role in my success, Chris Aceto. He lived in Maine, and he's not here tonight, but I really wanted to send a message to Chris Aceto, who wrote out a diet for me. It was six meals a day. And he came down and he looked at me and he said, oh, this kid looks okay. And I put it on my refrigerator and I followed that diet to a T. And six months later, he came back and looked at me and he said, holy shit, this kid's gonna be Mr. Olympia. So I was like floored. Okay, my progress was quick. In 1993, I won the Teenage Nationals. I battled someone, many of us recognize Branch Warren in that he beat me in the overall. I said, that's the last time that's gonna happen which sooner or later we were one and two at the Olympia, if you guys recall, 2009. I got a chance to go to California. I got to visit Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding. Anyone knows that's one of the greatest places where the bodybuilders, of course, Schwarzenegger themselves came from. Uh, I saw all those walls out there of all the former Olympia champs, and I said, I want to be on that wall. Ed Connors, big shout out to Ed Connors because he allowed me to stay with him and uh, gave me the opportunity like he gave so many other people. Okay, he also got me an introduction to Joe Weider. Now, Joe Weider, you know, bless Joe Weider because he mentored me. He made, it a, he made a promise to me. He said, you're gonna be the best at what you do. And he mentored me on how to push myself and believe in myself and give me the opportunity. He gave me a contract with the magazines and he was someone that really just, it was a huge, signature person in my life and you know I want to always recognize Joe Weider because without him I all of this wouldn't be possible including Arnold's reign uh, Jim Mannion Jim Mannion runs this organization big shout out to Jim I'm gonna tell you a little story I'm sorry this is kind of dragging on but I have a lot of history you guys saw this highlight reel so I was at a picnic okay this was 19 94 and I was a kid with a great physique and Jim had a friend that actually said to me at this picnic they said I know Jim Mannion I'll call him right now and tell him you're gonna be the best bodybuilder someday I said okay why don't you call him and see what he says and Jim of course picks up the phone and he says 
okay, yeah, okay, whatever. Sooner or later, next year I go to the Nationals, I win the pro card and Jim Mannion knows, oh, you were the guy at the picnic. So it's a pretty funny story. Uh, Steve Weinberger, you're my guy, man. The best gym in the world. You gave me the opportunity. You don't remember, Steve, we were sitting in a Dunkin' Donuts. I guest posed for you. I remember everything. <laughs> Steve did buy me the coffee, too. And I guest posed for you. I just had a pro card, and you said to me, you can be great at this. And you believed in me from day one. We now are business partners promoting shows. You know, we spend a lot of time, obviously, communicating, and I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. Without you, I wouldn't be uh, in this position. So Steve Weinberg, love you, bro. Now, where's Ronnie Coleman? He better be here. You saw, yeah, well, that's not Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> Where is he? Ronnie, you're the reason. You are the reason for my abilities, my greatness. I owe everything to you because you pushed me to do everything on the Olympia stage and beyond. And you are a huge, huge inspiration. You are my idol. I ended up beating you my idol, but <laughs> I love you. We spent a lot of great moments, Ronnie Coleman, the greatest bodybuilder of all time. And I love spending time with you. We guest pose every week. We ate together. We trained together. You kicked my ass in the gym. I, I'm going to admit that. But uh, you've given so much to bodybuilding, and uh, you are the greatest. Uh, I have to give a special shout out to also Chris Cormier. Chris Cormier, you're another reason. Because you stood next to me, and you, you gave me motivation. You took the time to spend with me. You battled me on these stages for every one of my victories at the Arnold Classic. Uh, much love to you. Dexter, Phil Heath, Phil Heath, man, seven-time Mr. Olympia, you, you were my best friend. We did it together for a couple of those Olympias. Uh, Branch Warren, of course, I mentioned. Victor Martinez, he pushed me in 2007. He thinks he won that show. We'll let him, uh, we'll let him keep thinking that, but the Sandow sits at my house. <laughs> I know he's in the house, but I love you too, Victor. We can still do a pose down if you want. To all the promoters, all the supporters, I hate to say fans because so many people that I considered, I guess in my head, fans became my friends. And they supported me and I traveled around the world. And as you guys know, I'm booked every week going place to place and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm touted as, you know, one of the elite. And I can't tell you how much that means to me, to be able to still be an ambassador. I really thought, you know, at 50 years old, I would be you know, someone that's kind of just passed on, and I'm still, you know, one of these figureheads that people look as in inspirational. And you never plan that when you start training. I mean, growing up where I grew up, it's just, it was so never expected. And, you know, for me to be motivational to so many people because of my abilities on that stage and selfishly becoming the greatest, that is the biggest accolade I could ever have beyond these awards, okay? And Angie, my beautiful fiance, you're my rock. Without you, all, you hold it all together. All the business we do, the personal time, my craziness, I appreciate you. And lastly, Manager Matt, you travel all these places with me, man, and uh, I want to thank you for that. I know you hid this award from me up until about two weeks ago, and you kept busting my chops. What are you going to say in a speech? Well, I have to give you a shout out because I know it was planned. Brian Powers, the committee, thank you guys. And you know what? The fans all around the world that gave me this opportunity to stand up here and accept this award and give me the loudest applause for that quad stomp. And it's remembered, right? As one of the signature poses of bodybuilding, I sit at these expos. I do quad stomps all day. My leg's tired. I don't even have to train legs anymore. And uh, once again, guys, there's, there's no ceiling to what we do. There is no limits. I wasn't supposed to be 
as great as I was, and I persevered through a lot of uh, dedication and commitment. You know, I beat the greatest bodybuilder of all time. I won three on all classics in a row. And uh, I appreciate all of you, the judges, all you people that, I know a lot of you judges judged me, uh, the sponsors, all the people that attend this event. I appreciate it so much. I know I spent countless hours this weekend just spending time with people and hearing your stories. And I hope that I can continue to motivate you guys all in all. And uh, I appreciate you guys so much, so thank you. Folks, please join me and get on your feet for one of the greatest of all time, your Arnold Classic Lifetime Achievement Award winner, the great, the colorful, Jay Cutler.